Well, everybody, I did it again. I messed up. I wrote a check that my body has no interest in cashing. Welcome back to Yoga with Ari. Welcome back to Yoga with Ari. This is, uh, I have not done yoga a single time since the last January challenge. Not once. Why? Because when you find perfection, what's the reason on going on and trying to do more? You know what I mean? It's like, um, it's like if you have a perfect date and everything goes perfectly and it's with a guy you've always wanted to, to hang out with and he treated you like a, like a gentleman treats a lady. And on the doorstep, he, he, did, he just kissed you on the cheek. So I don't want any more from you because this was such a lovely time. I don't want to ruin it with sexual desire. And so what do you do? You go in, you lean by the inside of the door, you open up the cabinet, reach for your fucking Smith & Wesson, and you put a bullet right between your brains. Because why try to outdo what you just accomplished? But I messed up. And I was too cowardly to put that figurative bullet into the yoga with Ari. So all through October, I'm doing at least wow, one a week. In January, this is just getting ready. In January, there will be a new 31 day challenge. Details to come, but right now, oh, let's start. Sit cross-legged, you know, and just kind of like, now we're just gonna like, oh, twist around, twist around. Like you're trying to do something twisty, like a tornado reaching down into middle America, telling them they never should have lived here. <sighs> Some of you are new to yoga with Ari. You might ask yourself, well, Ari, what are your qualifications? What are your qualifications, oh, the way, to teach a yoga class? Well, that's a good question. It's out of line. It's a good question, though. I studied. I studied yoga for 12 years at the University of New Delhi, Northwest Campus under the guidance of Dr. Shavasana uh, Adorahana Janadan. He was a lovely man until he found enlightenment, went up to the heavens. Mm, that's not me. So, you're gonna follow what the fuck I say because I'm gonna get you stretchy, I'm gonna get you to Nirvana. Okay, it's been a long time, you guys. It's been a long fucking time. Let's reach behind you. So this is the move we call, let's say you're sitting out in a park, lovely park such as this, and you wanna masturbate. It's normal, it's completely normal. It's a normal desire, always, and especially when you're at a park. And why? Because people are around, and it's gonna disrupt their day. You can't just masturbate, though. You don't want them catching you. What you want is just the sexual enjoyment. So what you wanna do is make sure nobody's watching. So, right hand, left hand, excuse me, over your right knee, your right um, calf, and just reach behind you, make sure nobody's fucking watching you jerking it. Nobody's there, go a little further. Yep, nobody. Back. Do the fucking reverse. Get close. Careful of the head. Mostly shaft. Get close. Uh-oh. It's been a while, you know? It's like when you're texting and driving. You can't just look up that. You gotta look up once in a while. So make sure before I spew this, make sure nobody's there. And with the left hand, finish it off. Ooh. Okay. Let's go down. Oh, so these are some moves that uh, we're gonna come in contact with a lot through the month and into the January challenges. This is called Dead Cat, Scared Cat. You wanna do, you're a cat, okay? Imagine a scared cat, right? Back up, oh my God, they're so scared. And what are they scared of? Chinese butchers. And I'm sorry if that seems racist, but it's not. I'm trying to be inclusive of your culture. Chinese butchers like to skin 
cats alive. Sometimes they pass them off as rabbits. Skin them alive and they hang them in a fucking window shop. So imagine a post here, wall here, window here, post here. And then dead cat is just, you're slumping right through the middle. Everything's slumped down. You have no muscles because you're dead. You're a dead cat. You understand. Scared cat, really stretch that fucking middle of the back up. Dead cat. Ugh, oh my God. Well, look at this. Look at this guy. He's going to be our little friend for today. Our little mushroom friend for today. Maybe I should teach this class like Bob Ross. Okay. Now we're going to lean back. Get your toes underneath you. Not flat, but underneath you. Lean back. Um, oh, wait, what are we doing? Oh, I know. So keep your ass up in the air, right? And then we're just going to get our uh, underarms and try to push it into the mat. Oh, just like that. That's a good stretch. That's a good stretch in my upper back. Help me, mushroom man. Help me achieve this. Oh. And so what this is called the prayer to the ass men, right? Because you're trying to pray, right? But you know there's, there's ass men that run the society. They're all around you. So you want to pray, but you also want to give them what they're looking for. That sweet, sweet ass. So, uh, ruin the mushroom. Okay. Pray to the ass man. Back up. One more time. Pray to the ass man. Pray to the ass men. It's a society of men who love ass. I don't get it. I'm a titty man myself. Uh, and legs and back. Ass is good too, actually. Good looks, face, hair, willingness to fuck. Um, flexibility. And finally, last but not least, personality. And then back up. So all fours, dead even. Now at this point, if you have a lav mic cord, you're gonna wanna tuck that in and try to be professional. It's just a little tip for me to you. I had to tell that to one of my finest students, Adrian, who runs her own yoga class. Her cord was always out. It's like, Adrian, no one's gonna take you seriously as long as your cord's out. She changed it, now she's a success. Okay. Reach his hand up, and all we're doing is swimming it through, right? Oh, just swimming it through. What we're going to do is try to get underneath a barrier stopping you from the job you've always wanted. So, let's say it's a paralegal and no one's going to hire you, right? Because you're a woman or black or Latino or uneducated. So what you want to do is you want to find a relative, get in underneath, not through the job hiring process, just underneath, find that job, you know? Oh, I have a better name for this, actually. Okay, let's go to the other side. Hands up and sweep it through. Sweep it through. You know what this is? This is when you're, oh, I already got this. Vending machine, everybody. Oh no, wait. Yeah. You're reaching in that vending machine. You don't want to pay. You want to reach in there underneath, grab, grab, grab at the Funyuns, grab at the Funyuns, and you got them. Reach them back out, enjoy those Funyuns. Again, this time, up. All the way through, grab those Funyuns, and then this time, your right hand goes up into the air. People are like, do you need help? Do you need help getting those Funyuns? Are you hurt? Like, no, I'm good. I'm good, I'm stuck, because you're embarrassed now. You got caught trying to steal Funyuns from the office. I'm good, no, no, guys, I'm good, everybody. I'm good, I'm good. Guys, I'm good. And then the cops come like, wait, I know what you're doing. You're stealing Funyuns. What do they do? They put your hand behind your back to arrest you. Ah, really stretch it back. You're getting arrested, enjoy this, you guys, enjoy this. This is part of black culture, getting arrested for daily office chores. Okay, back up, and the other way. Black guy at the office, you got hired because your resume allowed it. You didn't get that job any, any easy way. You reach under, you're just trying to steal Funyuns. Again, nothing to do with race. This, is, this part is just like, hey, you want Funyuns? You don't have fucking 55 cents. Who carries change on them anymore? The fucking machine doesn't accept the credit cards. It's their fault. You're reaching under, right? No, guys, I'm okay. No, guys, don't call anybody. I'm okay. I'm okay. Reach back. I'm okay. With the cops here, I was like, no, no, it's a, all right. I'll admit it. I was stealing fun. You're like, wait, I'm being arrested for this? Oh, this, now this is because you're a black dude. Oh, I'm being arrested for this? What the fuck? And now the fact that you're cursing, it's not going to help you get your job back. You're going to get fired. And then back up and over. Oh, fuck. Downward facing dog. Oh. Shake it out. You guys know this one, right? And now we're doing, we're going to lunge through. So imagine a woman is sitting under you, uh, head here, vagina here. 
And we're gonna do is kiss her. Mm, look at titties. Come through. Oh, she's got a terrible smelling muff, but skull fucker. Okay. Oh. Act even. Oh my god, who's over there? I don't know how much this shit's picking up. I'm trying to work on these microphones. We'll see. Right leg up. Come all the way through. Lunge. Oh fuck. What are we doing here? Oh, I wore this down. Oh, it's all the way up. Lunge right. He's lower half or he's... Oh, I know what we're doing. Okay, both legs. <clears throat> oh, come all the way up. Oh, into the sun. Let's do it this way. I'm all the way up. Reach for the skies. Oh. <sighs> This is the fucking worst, easiest pose, mountain pose. You just go like this. It looks fucking yoga as shit. Admit it. It looks yoga as shit. And then we're going up. Pray. Okay. Pray for another 9-11. Because that's what you secretly wanted. Because all Jews pray for 9-11. That's what... Everyone wants to tear Jews and Muslims apart. But we... <laughs> we both like 9-11. Okay. And then all the way down. From the waist. Feet further together. And all the way down. Let your hands touch the floor. I said, let your hands touch the floor, Ari. No, okay, then cross them over. Oh, feel a nice stretch back here, fuck. God damn, I mean, I should have just done it every week on my own. Even if I didn't film, I should have kept up. Okay, back halfway up. All the way back down. Ooh, I kept the floor. And then raise all the way up, slowly, slowly, slowly. Big flourish. Yoga as fuck. This time halfway down, same thing. Instead of half, so all the way down, then halfway up. We're going halfway down, halfway down. Lift your head up and then curl. Wait, how do you curl it? Curl up. Yoga as fuck. Okay. Back to... Oh, downward facing dog. Is that what I do? Raise lower half. Raise lower half. Okay. Right. Okay. Hop back to plank. Okay. That's it. That's it. I'll just fucking admit it. I've got a cheat sheet. I'm sorry, but it's been a long time since I've fucking done anything. Okay. Hop back to plank. Oh, the plank one is the, is the whatever. So, uh... So what we do is, it's a half push-up, right? So you're just like lowering, which, it, it, listen, in Jewish culture, that counts as one. I'll, I'll be honest, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. That's none of this like one. You're doing twice as much work for no results. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, fuck, all the way down. And then get away from that stinky puss, right? Ow. <sighs> Cobra. And dog. Okay, downward facing dog. That's it. And now we're doing this thing. Okay, right leg up in the air. Lunge all the way forward. Oh, shit. Lunge all the way forward. Here we go. And now, you're here. Someone's going to hand you a baby. Now listen, if you're a lot like me, you have no interest in a baby. But when you see one, when you finally see it, get your knee off the ground. When you finally see it, you're like, oh, maybe this can be my child. Maybe this can be my child. But then you think about it, and you're like, I actually really enjoy the single life. So no, you smash that child. Okay, back up. Hands oh, straight up. This is one of the warriors. I don't know. Guys, I, I, this is why fucking China had to go with like overpopulation to win wars. Because how are you going to fucking win wars? like Or India. Oh, India. Yeah. So they've never won a single war. I guess Pakistan. You guys did crush on Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan didn't even stand a chance. They drove them out. So they start your own country. Did you know that's called Pakistan? Pack your bags, Stan. You're out. Okay. Hands out. Really reach for the sides. And then we're turning. Ooh, that's a decent stretch. <clears throat> oh, feel the stretch in the inner thigh. This is like the second warrior. I can't believe this actually beat Pakistan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this hand, the right hand that's out in front, raise it up and over. And we're just gonna like, it's pretty cool. You're gonna feel cool with it. Reach it back. Ah, oh, like that. Let's try not to stare directly in the sun. 
Because this is like, doesn't help you at all. It's bad for your eyes. And then back up. Side hands, lunge back sideways. Okay, okay. Smash the, okay, back in. Smash the patriarchy. Downward dog. Oh. Lunge back sideways, so this. And then sideways, up. Smash the patriarchy. That's it. Put this hand, leg back. And we're going the other side. We're going the other side. I do have a move coming up called bear attack and I do not know what it is. Here we go, other side. Left leg up. Let's shake it out. Lunge in between. Okay. Oh, get that knee off the ground. Ooh. Oh, that's a good stretch right there. Oh, that's a good stretch right there. We're getting stretchy, you guys. We're getting stretchy. Listen, we're not gonna touch our toes no time soon, but we're getting ready for that January challenge. We're gonna touch our fucking toes by the end of it. January 31st, the day the laughter died. Oh, up, out. Oh yeah. Yeah, keep that leg on the ground. Oh, oh you can do these lunges. It looks cool. It feels cool. And then you'll see the right angle on this. This is one of the coolest looking yoga poses there is. Back and then, oh, doesn't that look fucking sweet? Don't it look like a goddamn yogi? Ah, uh, because I am, oh, because I am. Uh, three, two, one, back up. Oh. Take the baby, it's a patriarchy. We don't want the patriarchy, so we smash the patriarchy. What the fuck is bear attack? Bear attack. Then we're facing dog to the left. Bear attack. I don't know. I'll look it up. I don't know. Okay. Ugh. Back to down facing dog. What we're gonna do now is, oh no, uh, uh, this one, the one we did before. Oh, I know. I know. I got it. Okay. On the ground. Feet. Uh, see my toes? They're either this way or that way. I don't really care on this one. So I'm just mentioning it to buy myself time. I'm gonna go all the way down, but in between your fucking ankles. So, yeah, either way. And what we do is take the hands, push them out, and then raise them up. Try to keep these elbows as far, far forward as you can. And raise them up, and all we're doing is stop it. We're just protecting the neck. In case of a bear attack, what you wanna do is either make yourself very big or run away, I forget which one, depending on the bear. Uh, and one, you wanna make a lot of noises. The other, you just wanna be quiet and walk away. So I don't know which one that is, but once that bear attacks you, because it will, you want to protect your neck. He's on top of your back and he knows. Slash with this fucking neck and that guy's dead. So you want to protect your neck. Let him slash away at your hands. Listen, listen. If he rips off your hands, you're going to commit suicide anyway. So why not at least give yourself a fighting chance? So uh, we have to get that fucking, those underarms down. Oh, I think he's gone. Oh, his wife is coming. Okay, another bear attack. Uh, that's the whole family. And they're gone. Okay. So now, what caused this bear attack? What was it that allowed this bear to find me today? To break the fates and find me to attack me? Well, because I'm a homosexual. So what I'm going to need to do is, I'm going to need to get rid of that gay. I'm going to need to pray that gay away. God's the only one that can help you. Conversion therapy doesn't work. Uh, 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 beatings by parents don't work. What does work is prayer. God answers all. So. Back up to force. Right leg up and over. You seeing this? I think you are. So all we're doing now, straight up. Try to get that ass on the ground. It's impossible. If you need to move the, the knee out and the leg up, you can do that. Either way, just kind of. It's more. It's like from somewhere from here to here. I don't. I don't know. Just figure it out. And all we're doing now is taking. That. Please God, I'm so sorry. I can't be accepted by society. I thought it was fine. I thought it was 2021 and we're past this time, but bears haven't caught up. So I don't want another bear attack. I like living in the woods. So just pray that gay away. That's it. Just pray the gay away. Oh. Is it working? You answer my prayers, God? And you know what? Maybe some of you are lesbians. Maybe some of you like munching box. We have my, oh, editor, Barissa. My social media person, Kyla, do. They love munching box. So that's, what he, that's all I do. Pastime, whatever. So what we're going to do is... Oh, same thing. 
We're gonna go, oh, I know, from here. How do we do it? Just reverse sides. And we're gonna go the other, the other leg, okay? Up, up through. We're gonna pray the dike away. Just pray the lesbo away, you know? I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be attracted to box, okay? I didn't ask to, to see uh, milky white uh, smooth titties and, and, and get turned on, get wet in my vagina. I didn't ask for that. I got it. And now I'm getting attacked by bears. Listen, guys, I enjoy your fight. I'm out. And we're just gonna pray the lesbian away. We're gonna pray the lesbo away. Oh, that really fucking hurts. Oh, it really fucking hurts in my upper thought. Mm. Come on, I'm doing a yoga class. Ah, oh fuck. Oh my God. Wow, why did it hurt so much more to pray the lesbian away? Then the gay doesn't make sense. <coughs> We're almost done. Okay. And now, uh, let's do this pretzel. We're supposed to do the pretzel in between there, but I don't know. So, what was, what was up there? This one? Okay. So now, your right foot, left leg up and over it. Okay? The foot up and over it, right in the thigh. I've done this before. <sighs> come forward, come to the right, feel where it stretches. It's, all, it's everywhere here, right? Ah, backwards, forwards. Mm. So now my favorite part of the, my favorite move, the pretzel, is you don't have to move your legs for this. I know, small joys. Keep your feet on the ground, turn it around, and come right back down. Move your cock out of the way, especially your balls. If you have big balls, oh no. If you have big balls, ow. And now you're on the right, the other side. Oh. Move it. Shut up, these fucking kids. Just shut up. Okay. Oh, unfurl. <sighs> so cross-legged, and now what we're doing is, we're putting the straight away. It'll just hit me that I got attacked by a bear. And it might be because I haven't come to society. It might be because of the Kinsey scale, which is a zero to six, six being all gay, zero being all hetero, and they say a six and a zero doesn't exist. So you're gonna have to admit to yourself that even if you're a full-on, full-blown homosexual, you still have a little bit of hetero in you. I know, it sucks. I know, it sucks. And today's day, you're not really rewarded for that, right? You're like, oh, fucking hetero, who cares? You sis, you fucking sis. So you gotta get rid of that. You gotta take it from a one to a zero. And how are we gonna do that? To the grace and glory of God. We're gonna pray that straight away. So reach all the way up in the air. Reach all the way up in there. It's like, please, Lord, please, Lord. I've experimented and I haven't enjoyed it as much as I could. I've enjoyed it a lot at an A minus level, and I want to enjoy it at an A plus level. So get rid of that, get rid of that hetero. Get rid of that straight. I don't ever want to think about another vagina or a titty. I don't ever want to think about those beautiful fucking melons, the nipples that, that come forward that pop like fucking turkey basters, and sometimes they're split down the middle like somebody took a fucking slice of paper and just fucking cut it slightly and it healed that way, and you're just like, oh, you just suck on them all day. I don't want to think about those all day. I don't want. I don't want to. We're gonna pray that straight away. Wow, <clears throat> fucking October. <sighs> Three, two, one. Oh. It's almost gone. Let's reverse these legs. Ow. Ow. And one more time. Please, God. Please, God. Let me stop thinking about a fucking... What, what if I'm... Oh. Uh, what am I now? Uh, whatever. Pray that straight away. Ow. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Hey, number one rule of yoga with Ari. Don't get hurt. Uh, none of us are equipped to get hurt, and if you get hurt, you're not going to be able to train anymore. So I have a solid muscle spasm on the inside of my leg, and it's painful in my left shin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys keep praying the gay away, and I'm going to get ready for the next fucking move. The final move. Crunch starfish crunch. Hey, where's it? Okay, watch this. How close did it get? Okay, so we're crunching. This might help to do it the downwards way. Yeah, if you're on a slant like I am, uh, you want your feet uh, on the lower side, right? Nice crunch, and then we're just gonna starfish and crunch. A couple more times. Starfish. Oh, and crunch. Last one. Star, Jesus, these fucking kids. And crunch. <sighs> 
Okay. That's the last one. Tick? Nope. That's the last one. I don't know how long we've done. I gotta think. Too long, to be honest. Tell you what, we'll do this one and then we'll stop it. <sighs> okay, lie flat on your back, knees at a 45 degree or whatever. And we're gonna go on the left side, knees to the left side, or hands out, knees on the left side, uh, hands on the right. We're just stretching out because we're getting ready to end end. Uh, hands out, face to the right, knees to the left. And back up. Move your fucking talkie pack. And then the other way. God damn, I hate these fucking kids. And then out, one more crunch. Oh, moving into a nice sit. We're done, motherfuckers. Okay. So, if you're not familiar with yoga with Ari, this is the hardest part. Because this involves a level of sincerity that I am not generally comfortable with. With which I am not generally comfortable. Let's get the grammar right. So, sit Indian style. Um, oh, by the way, I know Indian style is no longer the accepted term. Uh, these are Indians from India. Indian style. And it is our style. At least that was taught to me by Dr. Atharaj Janadan. Okay, so Indian style or fucking uh, lazy, lazy white style. That is racist. Um, or just sitting like this, you know. Like, however you want. Just sit down. Try to do this fucking stupid lotus pose thing. Try to do that. I'm going to sit like this because it's class day one. I could twist my legs in and out of each other and get the knees up here, the legs up here, but I'm going to turn you off. I don't want to turn you off so early in this. So what we're doing is, oh, this is dumb. Have, it's not dumb. It's nice. Have something thankful in your mind. We're going to breathe in five seconds through the nose and then breathe out six seconds through the mouth. And the whole time we're going to stand straight up. We're going to sit straight up, ass on the ground, head trying to reach the heavens, and just think about that thing you're thankful for, whatever it is, big or small. Today, I'm thankful that I don't have children because they suck. You can be thankful for whatever you want. And as you hear them, know that I'm more and more thankful all the time as they're interrupting this fucking sweet yoga class full of meditation, nirvana, and stretchiness. So five in through the nose, six out through the mouth. Do it over and over again. Pause for a second at the top, pause for a second at the end, whatever. And then the last one, we're gonna take a slow, slow, slow breath in through the nose. I'll tell you when, and a, a very slow, 15, 20 seconds out through the mouth. And then I'll tell you, like, let your eyes flutter open. And then you do, and we're fucking done. So here we go. Have the thing you're thankful for. Back straight up. If your mind wanders, go back to the thing you're thankful for. And always remember, like, you're gonna start slumping over. Get your back straight up. Here we go. Last final stretch. Why does this hurt me already? Because I'm facing the wrong way. What's going on here? It shouldn't hurt. Okay, here we go. And in through the nose. Fucking kids. And out. And in. I bit them too fast at that. And out. And in. Keep it going. Keep the saying thankful. Keep that back up. A couple more. Remember, as your lungs fill up with air, just understand that you're letting all that thankful shit in and you're just pushing all the bad shit out. So keep going. Last one, get all the air out and go slow, slow, slow through the nose. Here we go. You ready? Last one, be thankful. Here we go. Got it, got it.
18 and out. Your eyes flutter open. Fucking one day down. One day down. Yoga with Ari for October. At least four classes. Check back every Monday. What day is, uh, I don't know, whatever day October 1st is. Well, hold on, I know this. Friday. We'll try to do it every Monday. How about that? Today's Friday. I'll do it on Monday, the next Monday, the next Monday. So check back Mondays and Fridays. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, sure. Take the weekend off. Mondays and Fridays. I'll definitely have one up every Monday. And by definitely, I mean I'll try my best. And I hopefully, maybe, maybe, I'll have one every Monday and Friday. Who knows? For October. We're getting ready for a 31-day Yoga with Ari challenge in January. So do the class whenever. And don't forget, uh, subscribe to the playlist on YouTube, youtube.com slash Ari Shafir, or you're already there. Uh, subscribe to the playlist. There's like 100 classes you can catch up. You can do whatever you want. Um, that's it, fuck faces. Namaste. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't know that it's been fucking 10 months. Ow. Ow. Namaste. Yeah.